Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you want to design and build a beautiful website, you can do it all in one place with Squarespace. Hello everyone, we just got back from Japan and even though I just made two action packed vlogs, I wanted to make something specifically for creators visiting Japan. So I wanted to dedicate a video to my favorite art stores in Tokyo. This is going to be short and sweet, so let's go. First up is Sakaido in Shinjuku. I think this is a chain, but the one that we like to visit is in Shinjuku. I love this art store because I think it's the most practical. And the reason I'm putting it first is because I asked some of my artist friends that live in Tokyo what their favorite art store is and they all said this one. And I agree, it's really, really good. There aren't like a lot of cute displays like super no frills but it's the best it's a few minute walk from shinjuku station so super convenient and it's big and not touristy it's like never super packed it's still like kind of a spectacle because it's a six floor art store and each floor is dedicated to things like stationary or scrapbooking drawing painting framing etc i think if i lived here this would be my art store of choice if you're here and you're a practicing artist this is a good one to go to because things like holbein paints are really really cheap here i think because they're a japanese company whereas in australia it's like double the price okay i spent so much money actually i didn't spend that much money it was like pretty inexpensive i got so much stuff i thought i was gonna spend 500 dollars. it was only 200 dollars. so i thought that was pretty good Next, we've got one of the biggest art stores I've ever been to in my life, and it could possibly be the biggest in the world. There's 12 floors in just the main store. This one's located in Ginza. It's called Itoya. I always treat it as like a spectacle or like a tourist destination that I go see every time I'm in Tokyo. So if you're having a shopping day in the area, which I'm sure you will do at least once, I would definitely go and see this. This I would call more of like a stationary store than a dedicated art store. They have like many floors. Some are dedicated to gifting or like cards. Some are dedicated to stationary, writing tools planners and some levels are specifically for art supplies but there's also like top levels of cafe and like the second top level is like a farm where they grow like lettuce and vegetables for the cafe so like it's kind of it's it's in a stationary realm and it's really fun to see it's obviously like crazy to be able to go up and up and up and there still be more and more stuff and if you think it's over at, at the 12th floor it isn't if you go around to the back there's another building that has like two or three floors and there is more art supplies there. It's like a, a toy second location. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I put this in here purely for like the tourist destination spectacle. It still has like art supplies. It still has gouache, paint and stuff like that. But there's some other stuff too. There's like um, homeware. Like I got a really nice tote bag there that I'm, I bring to the studio every day. So it's like a nice little shopping destination thing. And I think it's fitting because it's in Ginza. Next up we have Pigment. So remember how Sakaida was a super, super practical art store? This one is like completely impractical in my opinion. <laughs> I'm including it because I think it's such a spectacle. It feels more like a museum than it does an art store. It doesn't feel super warm or welcoming. So prepare to feel a little bit uncomfortable when you go, but there is like a huge wall of pigments, which is really beautiful. And then a dedicated watercolor and ink section, as well as like a raw art material section, which is something that I haven't really seen before. I think it's super fancy and intriguing. I didn't buy anything from here. I just treat it more like a museum like when you go to an art museum you're not going to buy the art but you go to look at it you know this one is a little bit out of the way but it's on the same monorail line as one of my favorite flea markets which is tokyo city flea market the last one i want to include was a cute little art store called uematsu this one is right next to Shibuya station. So I'm including this purely because of convenience. Like if you're going on a day trip and you've forgotten something, this is a station that you probably be visiting multiple times in your trip. It's really, really easy to pick something up. It's only got two floors and I know like actually my art stores here only have one floor. So I don't even know why I complain, but I think in, in relation to like the other ones that have like 12 levels, it does seem small, um, but it's super convenient. Like it's like pretty much attached to the train station. And also like it has, it still has everything you could want. Like it has versions of things that you could want. It's also got a wall of pigment as well, if that's what you're after. But I think it's just like a, a, a nice little stop off when you're in a time crunch, because it's a pretty central location. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. This was a super fast video. I just wanted to get it out. You know, when you watch a video and you're like, please be quiet, just tell me the information. I don't want anyone to feel like that. If you guys have recommendations for your favorite art stores and why, I would love to hear about them. And I'm going to put them in my itinerary for my next trip. But yeah, I want to take this moment to say a big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. As per usual, Squarespace is an online website building platform. It's honestly the best. You guys have heard me talk about how easy it is to use, how beautiful the themes are, you guys know my love for it and that I've been using it for the last few years. But if you still don't believe me, I dare you to try it. Go to squarespace.com slash peach. You get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. That's it. Okay. Thank you, everyone. I'll see you very soon for more Australia content. It's not as cool, but it, it will be okay. 
Bye.